Thanks for joining us in this project to read through the scriptures together this year. By now, we're coming into the book of 1 Samuel. This is truly a transitional book in the, the life of Israel. It is the time when we go from just the kind of joint disjointed tribes, the 12 tribes kind of independently operating and everyone kind of just doing their best on their own to where we see the emergence of a unified 12 tribes into a kingdom and eventually the anointing of King David that would be the line from which Jesus' Messiahship would come to the earth. There, there's two main characters that we meet at the beginning of this book. One is Eli. He's the high priest. His sons are priests after him, and they are serving in the tabernacle that Moses had built years and years before. The other character that we meet is Hannah, this woman who is married, unable to have children, and is is truly desirous to have family. Uh, on Eli's side, we, we see this life of compromise, and it, it leads to tragic things. It, it leads to the death of his sons. It leads to his own demise. It leads to one of the worst defeats in all of Israel's history. But on the other side is this woman, Hannah, who with simple devotion and almost desperate kind of faith, comes to God and says, God, please establish for me a family. Give me a son. If you do, I'll dedicate his life to you. And out of that cry of faith comes the birth of Samuel the prophet. And as we said, Samuel goes on to lead the nation of Israel from a group of disjointed tribes where everyone kind of just manages life as best they can on their own to a unified nation that comes together first under Saul and then under King David in the establishment of King David's line. I think it's important for us to just pause and say, you know, what are the consequences of my life? What, what kind of follows along behind me? And unfortunately for Eli, what followed his life was, was not pleasant and was not good. But for Hannah, what followed her, the legacy that came behind her, was this legacy of a prophet and a nation and a kingdom and a Messiah. What are we creating? What is following us? Have fun reading through the book of 1 Samuel.